Happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, November the 3rd, 2020, and uh, today's daily Bible readings come to us from Psalm 128, Joshua 6, 1 through 16, Acts 13, 1 through 12, or you could read Psalm 5, Lamentations 2, 13 through 17, and then end up with Acts again. But today I'm going to look at Acts 13, 1 through 12, and we're going to talk about Lemus's school of witchcraft and wizardry. Uh, so, it's interesting, this text, because we get uh, somebody, a character introduced to us, a person introduced to us, rather, I should say, uh, named Alemus, at least that's his, I guess, Greek translation of his name, who we're told was a magician and a Jewish false prophet. Now, why is that important? Why is he even important in the story? It's because he has the ear of the proconsul of this island um, that called Salamis that uh, Barnabas and Saul, Paul, have been sent to in the Holy Spirit to proclaim the good news of Christ. And he has the ear of this guy, the guy that's in charge of the place, basically. Um, and that's important because he's actively working against um, the work that Paul and Barnabas are doing. He's actively trying to um, dissuade, to use a fancy term, the proconsul from actually listening to the good news because we're told that he's kind of an intelligent guy and he's interested in what Barnabas and Saul, Paul have to say. Um, and so they're sharing the good news with him. And all the while, this guy is kind of like whispering in his ear and leading him astray. Uh, so what's this guy's name? Alemus. Well, the kind of mo more interesting thing is that actually the, the first name that we're told. Um, so his name is Bar Jesus. That should already draw your attention. So what's in this name? The first part of it, bar, is an Aramaic prefix, right? It's because, um, you yeah, you were right there with me. You already knew it was Aramaic, right? Um, so I don't know if you're familiar with reading other names in the Bible, but you'll see a lot of names like uh, you might see the formula like Ben Joseph, right? Well, in Hebrew, Ben or Bat means son of or daughter of. Well, in Aramaic, bar is like say, is basically saying son of. So his name is either son of or of Jesus, right? But it's not that Jesus, right? Okay, so um, let's say bar Jesus, son of Jesus. Which Jesus? Well, um, not the Jesus you're thinking of. There were Jesus was a pretty common name. So it's not the Jesus, but it's a Jesus. Jesus was a common name back then. Um, it, was, uh, it was more like Joshua um, was a common name. Or, well, I guess really more like Yeshua, Um uh, was a common name, which it was, right? We Earlier in the DBRs, we were looking at the book of Joshua, right? And that's why Jesus is named Joshua. It's not just an accident. It got named after that guy. That name, um, Joshua, Yeshua, means Yahweh saves. Um, so that's this guy's name. It's His name was Bar of Yeshua, yeah, Joshua. So, um, and that name is a great historical name in the Hebrew faith because it's Joshua. It's the guy that led them finally out of the wilderness into the promised land. Um, and the name means Yahweh saves, except this guy really had nothing to do with Yahweh. Um, irony? Much? We'll get into that. Um, so what we're told that the whole reason that Barnabas and Paul had been sent here, had been sent to this island of Salamis, was because the Holy Spirit told the community that he had put his hand on these two guys and he wanted them sent to this place to proclaim the good news of Christ. And so that's what they're doing. They're actually here in the name of the Lord. They're actually here under the guidance of the Lord. They're actually there with the blessing of the Lord and the presence of the Lord. And that's what kind of happens when this guy is whispering in the ear of this guy as a false prophet and as a magician counteracting everything that Barnabas and Saul are doing. And that's where we get here. We're told that that Paul, Saul, becomes filled with the Holy Spirit and basically calls this guy out uh, pretty drastically. He says, um, says, Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked intently at him and said, you son of the devil, you enemy of all righteousness, full of all deceit and villainy, will you not stop making the crooked making crooked the straight paths of the Lord. And now listen, the hand of the Lord is against you, and you will be blind for a while, unable to see the sun. 
Um, and so here you've got this prophet, right, who was supposed to lead the people, because that's the job of the prophet, right? The job of, of a true prophet is to lead the people um, in the direction that God would have them to go. Um, and, but he was actually lying and um, casting false vision into the proconsul's ear uh, and eyes and trying to lead him away from the truth rather than lead him to the truth. And so here's this guy who was supposed to be leading people in the truth, and now he's got to grope around in the dark just to find somebody's hand so they can lead him home. Irony much. So anyway, don't be a false prophet, and don't go to El Elimus's school of witchcraft and wizardry because it's not going to work out well for you. Listen to Paul. Listen to Barnabas. Have a good day. We'll be back with another DBR tomorrow. Boop.